Hey there, it's Tim Burrell. Happy New Year. Wanted to let you know some events that have happened at our office. I was hired to teach two courses for CRS, Council of Residential Specialists. I always have to tell people it doesn't stand for can't remember stuff because I'm, I'm a little bit older. Um, did wonderful webinars, two national webinars for people on negotiating. Also the Bob Lucido Group, one of the biggest organizations in Maryland, uh, they hired me to go up to Maryland for a day. Luckily, I got back just before the big snowstorm and uh, teach their group, 50 people, how to uh, negotiate better. I also teach a class approved by the Real Estate Commission, and my negotiating book has been, well, they consider it the authority on uh, real estate negotiating. So if you or your friends are looking for the uh, realtor with their team that negotiates better than most so you can get a better deal, we'd be happy to take good care of you. And uh, speaking of taking good care of you, the market is amazing. Um, the numbers of showings have uh, increased rather substantially, and we are getting you know, a big increase in the number of uh, people looking at properties. This is against the background of the inventory going down. Um, it's 12% less houses for sale this year versus last year, same time this year versus same time last year. Uh, down by 9% December versus November, so we're Builders are building as fast as they can, but our inventory is still shrinking. So um, you would think the number of pending sales has gone up. They went down in December, mainly because it um, was a little bit interesting to get everything sold. Went up 2% versus last December. In other words, last year, December to December, went up a little bit. And um, so we're getting things sold, but the number of closed sales is the best indication of where the market activity is. It's up by 10% this year versus last year. That's wonderful. So we're getting a lot more houses sold. If you compare the fourth quarter of this year versus the fourth quarter of the last year, it's up by 6%. And this December versus last December, it's up by a huge 33%, but that's mainly because we had some weird requirements. There's an requirement called TRID having to do with loans. And so a lot of things that should have closed in November didn't. And so they held over into December, which really bumped the numbers and made them skewed. Um, now, days in the market, this is one of the lowest that we've ever seen. Um, good illustration of that is 59% of the properties on the market sold in 30 days or less um, this December. The previous December, it's 49% sold in 30 days or less. So there's an increase of 10% in the number of properties that sell in 30 days or less. The market is very price specific. If you're under 250,000, it's real good chance you'll have multiple offers. If you're 400 to 450,000, that is the average price of a property that expires. And if you go over 800,000, the market drops off precipitously. So if you have an expensive home to sell, they're selling, but uh, they're not selling as rapidly as uh, the, some of the sellers would like. So what's this do? Decrease in inventory, increase in the number of sales, decrease in days on market. You would expect the price is going up, and it is. You have a 5% increase overall for the year. That's good. For the triangle, typical is someplace around 2 to 3%. This, um, actually, the resale prices are also up by 5%. With the decrease in inventory, I was thinking they might be up a little bit more than that. But... Um, it's, it's been very successful in terms of getting the prices to go up and getting the products to get sold. The average price of something that's sold in the uh, Triangle MLS, our entire area, which does cover several counties, is $268,500. The average price of a real sale property is $251,600. So if somebody asks you, what's the average price in the Triangle? About a quarter of a million. And uh, that's a fairly decent answer. At any rate, we're very pleased to be so well received as negotiating experts. I've been very pleased to have national organizations as well as big realtors from other states hire me to help them on their negotiations. So if you ever need somebody that uh, can help you negotiate a better real estate deal, I'll be tickle pink to help and let me know whatever my team can do to help you in any way. Thank you so much for your support.